Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of dorks in love that love reacting to some DC stuff. But we're DC dorks. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we don't want to say we're just DC dorks. DC, Marvel, I mean, you know, we probably know more about Mar We definitely know more about Marvel than we do DC, but we're trying to learn more about DC. And so uh, DC Fandom is coming out this weekend, this Saturday. So we're trying to gear up for it. And we've been told that the one of the great trailers out there for the DC world, the DC universe, is the DC uh, universe cinematic trailer. So that's what we're gonna check out today. So today we're DC dorks. So today we're DC dorks for sure. Seems very mild, except for the violence. My greatest triumph was at hand. The final campaign in my long war against Superman. While his powers were drained from constant battle, I struck, luring him from his self-imposed exile. But my obsession had blinded me to the real threat, to Earth's true enemy. Is that Green Arrow? I think so. Got one oh, damn! Who is that? I don't know. They are. How do they fall? Lantern! Green Lantern? Pick on someone your own size! Concentrate fire on Luthor while I hold down some artillery. Oh. Who's that? I don't know, but she's awesome. Now it's cool as Wonder Woman, obviously. Joker? Yeah, and Harley. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> nice punch. Yeah, for good measure. That was a great kick. Lose something? Great, <gasps> Sister? What? Ah. Uh, yeah, Flash. He needs help. Like, faster? Faster? That's his thing. Harley Quinn is a shield. Of course he did. What's this? Nobody kills the bat but me. Call him. Bring him to me. I don't think Superman cares. Diana, 
Yep. Careful what you wish for. Brainiac had returned. For years, he'd been stealing the powers of Earth's protectors when we were too busy fighting amongst ourselves to see the danger. With you three dead, Brainiac quickly eliminated the remaining heroes. The lucky ones died fighting. Finally, I alone survived a rat in the walls of the Brainiac Construct. I have traveled through time to warn you. This is my past, but your future. And it means the end of humanity, so together, we must change it. Couldn't we just kill you what and fix you everything? What have you done, Luther? <laughs> you a fighting chance. He's lying. It's some kind of trap. Why should we trust you? Because if you don't, Earth is doomed. I don't blame Batman for being a skeptic. No, not at all. I mean, how could you ever trust him? You can't. No, you can't. That is that, that is right. You, you, you can't ever trust him. I mean, because even if, like, it's, it's always self-serving with uh, Lex Luthor. So, yeah, he wants to save the world right now because in the, in the future it doesn't, it doesn't end up so great for him. Um, but as, as soon as he gets a chance to like, you know, as soon as he th sees that things are going to change and that maybe he has a chance to survive and live, he'll double cross you. Yeah, so you can never trust him, but you have to ask yourself, are his motives self-serving enough yeah. for him to do this? And it to be aligned, seems yeah. in this case like that is probably, probably true, but... You know, as you said, the minute your back is turned, he's gonna he's gonna pull some stuff. So I mean, there were some good fights in there. I mean, it was just basically all one kind of giant fight scene. Um, who was the like what she said was sister of of Wonder Woman? Like, yeah, yeah. who is that? That is a character I, I'm not I'm not familiar with at all. Neither am I, but she sounds interesting. Yeah, I mean, she's, if she's cool. truly a sister, and she's from the Amazons. Then I'm sorry, but what the hell happened to her? Or was that just like, you know, a colloquial, uh... Yeah, because then the chicks fighting. Yeah, I, don't, I just, I have so many questions from this. I, I will say that Lex Luthor in this is in every way the monster of the comic books that I expect him to be. Mm -hmm. I'll always love the Gene Hackman uh, Lex Luthor, though. That's always going to be my favorite um, from the old Superman movies. Just the, the the deceptiveness of him. like And like, he seemed like someone that could be charming and could charm you and like could get you to believe that, you know he's on your side and then at the last minute like double cross you like that and so i think there's only ever one interpretation of lex luther that i've seen that has given him sort of like even an ounce of humanity and that's the old tv series smallville that hmm. that was on he is the child of a monster so obviously doesn't have the best role model mm. and kind of wrestles with his morals and and right versus wrong and and doing what the good thing is fails more often than not. But when I was a freshman in high school, the parallels of what they were dealing with in Smallville was very much like, oh, it's like the homecoming date and like all that stuff that as a freshman, you're like, okay, so I'm gonna watch Smallville to learn what high school is like, cause I don't know. <laughs> so like, I was that dork. I turned to superheroes to learn what life is like. There was totally gonna be a dorky farm boy who was gonna like sweep me off my feet with like the exception of kryptonite, obviously. Clearly. <laughs> so, uh, thanks so much for checking out our reaction to the DC Universe Online cinematic trailer. Just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.